What's going on? This is Chris Wilson. I'm here for another Memory Monday. Um, I want to say thank you for taking time out of your schedule. Uh, I really want to say thank you very much for all the wonderful comments and and um, and words of encouragement that I received from the last couple of weeks. Our month, our month, Memory Mondays. I'm, I'm so excited that it's it's something that's able to help other people. Uh, I, I really enjoyed talking to some people who. Uh, I didn't know we're going through some of the things that they're going through. Um, and I appreciate your, your willingness to share. Um, you know, my philosophy is, you know, I, I wanted to chronicalize this. Is that a word? I wanted to chronicle this um, because I recognize that, you know, today I'm in great health and shape and, and hopefully you are as well. But, you know, our day might be coming too. Uh, you know, I want to give a quick shout out to all my caregivers who reached out to us, who reached out to me. Um, I, I really, you know, I understand, we, you know, we have, we, we have something in common. I, you know what I'm going through and I believe I have an idea what you're going through. And the thing about it is people really sometimes don't really understand that, you know, today we're all healthy. We're, we're, we're vibrant. We're living our lives. But one day uh, someone might be taking care of us. And that's wh why I wanted to do this for two reasons. Number one, so I can. You know, think back about the joyous times that I'm having right now with my mom who's battling dementia. You know, we're having a great time together. But also, I wanted to help my friends um, and those who, uh, their loved ones, kind of make sure that you have some things in place. Um, so when that time comes, be it a loved one for your, your mom, your dad, a friend or family member, or even yourself, that we're all prepared. So today, I want to really talk to you about what I call the triangle. You know, um, the, the, the triangle uh, has three parts. And no matter how you turn it around, each part will, uh, it plays a very important part. Um, you know, they talk about the pyramids being in, 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 in Africa and how, you know, thousands of years, but they're still standing because they were built on a good foundation, a good base. And so there are some documents that you need to have in your, in your triangle. I believe um, just through this experience, everything that you need falls in one of kind of three categories. I call it either the health category, the finance category, or just the general administration category. Uh, it's going to fall somewhere in one of those three categories. And sometimes you're going to find they kind of overlapping in some things. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this uh, on the blog. I'm going to list um, the three, the, the three categories and the documents that are inside those categories. And you need to make sure that you have these documents. Um, you, if I don't care if you're, you're 18, 28, 48, 88, it's never too late to get these documents and get them in order right now. I'll tell you why, you know, my father, um, as a young man, um, lost both of his parents. And so he was an orphan. And one of the things my father, his, his, his prayer to guy was he always wanted to live long enough to where, um, he meaning, um, me would have a, a memory of him. And I was very fortunate. My father lived to be 80, uh, three years of age. So I was an adult, you know, when he passed, but one of the things he also was very diligent about was preparing for, you know, for the inevitable future, uh, uh, an event, which was death, not morbid. You know, we, we didn't, you know, have seances and all this stuff. It wasn't that, but it was really just about planning. And, and I can tell you when my father did pass, when he passed, it was a very easy experience. Yes. I cried. And for some reason I'm tearing up now. Um, but it was a lot easier because he and my mom have had already done the hard work. They had done what I'm suggesting that you do for yourself and for your loved one. So think about the triangle. Once again, there's going to be health, there's going to be wealth, or it's going to be just kind of general administration. I'm going to do, and I'm going to put this on the website. So even if you don't have to, to write it down right now, just go to the website. I'm going to list that in some other resources in the bottom. When we talk about health, there's some things that you want to make sure that you have. And I hope and I put, cause I've got my little cheat sheet so I don't miss anything. Um, health. You need to have a living will. I'm going to go through these kind of on the, the 50,000 foot level. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, put some links in there for, for more detailed discussion around some of these things. But you need to make sure you have uh, a living will. 
a living will is really designed for you um, to kind of uh, communicate what your um, desires are as it relates to health care and what we call natural death. Um, in that health care, um, uh, in that living will, you're going to have what they call a DNR, do not resuscitate. Um, if you don't want to be in a vegetative state, you want to make sure that you fill out, you know, you want to check that you don't want to be resuscitated. So that and some other things are going to be in the healthcare, uh, I mean, in your living will. You also want to have a healthcare POA, a healthcare power of attorney, and it's different than a regular power of attorney. Uh, and we'll talk about the regular power of attorney and the administration side. But your healthcare power of attorney really is um, going to give authority to, um, to your agent, whoever you decide that needs to be. If you're taking care of your parents and your parents will have the uh, health care power of attorney and they'll make you the agent, it gives you the authority to have um, deliberate conversations with the doctor and direct treatment. <clears throat> when they need approval, um, this health care power of attorney gives that approval to you or to your agent, gives approval to the agent to transact business, the health care side of business for that individual. In the healthcare power of attorney, you want to make sure it has a release for information. Um, you know, we live in a very um, uh, security focused um, time. So there's something called HIPAA um, and hospitals and doctors. They're always trying to work to, to remain HIPAA compliant. So just make sure that your uh, healthcare POA, POA has um, uh, a release for authorization, an authorization for release of information so you can use it. So those are, I think, the two major important documents, um, a living will, your health care um, POA, that you're going to have on the, on the health side of the triangle. On the financial side, uh, there are a few more documents. And once again, these things will overlap. But you need to be able to identify where um, your life insurance policies are. Once again, when my father passed, he had a old school manila envelope. Um, it was an accordion file, and um, each tab was clearly labeled will, um, healthcare power of attorney, it, it, the tab, and it was right there. So um, when it came time to use it, we knew exactly where it was at. Now, as it relates to my mom, and my mom, she took care of it. She knew exactly where it was at. As it relates to my mom, I personally dropped the ball. Why? Because we always think that, our parents are going to be the, our parents forever. What I didn't recognize was my mom was going to have dementia. Therefore, uh, she moved it one day from our designated spot. Um, and when she moved it, when I went to go use it for her care, it was not there. So at that point, life gets really hard. So you, one of the things I, I really urge you to do is, is find somewhere um, and, and I will lock it up. Um, safe deposit boxes are great or safes or uh, some place where you don't have to worry about someone moving in and not being able to, to, to find it. Um, but things like on the finance side, you want to make sure that you have the life insurance, life insurance policies accounted for. You always hear me say life insurance is not really about death. It's also about life. You know, their life insurance policies. And like I said, I'm not going to go into great detail. Make sure you go to the website. I have a whole section on life insurance policies because I recognize life insurance policies are about building wealth. Hopefully you're joining us on Wednesday night at a, on our Wealthy Wednesday webinars where we talk about that. But you want to make sure you have a life insurance policies. Uh, you want to make sure you have tax returns. You want to have at least five years worth of tax returns. Five years is very, very important. Once again, you'll see I have a video about the five-year look back. If you don't know what the five-year look back is, please understand there's a clock somewhere that is ticking. And if you want to access any particular benefits or programs or something like that, most um, the government looks back for five years. So let me give you another real life example. Well, like I said, I didn't want to go into deep, deep detail, but I can tell you uh, tax returns are very, very important. But you also want to have things like your 401k st um, statements. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the last one. You just want to have at least one because it's going to have your name and the account number and the name of the company. That way, if you need to go back, you can you can identify that. Your 401k statements, your pension statements, uh, any type of Social Security, any security statements such as um, stocks, bonds, those things. You want to make sure that you have um, 
uh, uh, that information there also in your financial uh, documentation. You want to make sure that you also have things like the title of land, um, housing deeds, or um, uh, burial plots. I'm a real proponent, um, uh, a real advocate for individuals who do pre-needs um, planning. It is so important to go ahead and get it out of the way. Um, for, and it's important for a couple of reasons. Like I said, there's a video. I, you keep hearing hear me saying there's a video. I'm really serious and passionate about this. You know, the cost of burials are going up. Lock in your costs now. Look for the pre-needs um, um, video. You also want to make sure you have an, uh, an updated mortgage st information um, statement. Once again, um, you know, in some households, maybe the wife pays the mortgage. And if something happens to the wife, then the husband doesn't know where to send the payment to. You know, don't take for granted that you just know what's going to happen the day after. Um, one other thing that was important is you want to have proof that uh, if there are any loans that they've been paid off. Um, because when you pass um, and uh, a, an estate is a setup for you, once again, join us on Wednesday night so you find out where the states are. Um, you're going to have to have proof. That way there are no claims brought against you and they try, they try to uh, then um, take your funds, take, your, take the money and the wealth that your family member or you have uh, kind of set up. So you want to make sure you have proof of any type of loans being paid off. As well as, because you know the word says we want to be, um, we want to be uh, loaners. If you have given a loan to someone, you want to make sure you have documentation of that loan, so um, that you or your family member can collect on that loan as well. Um, going back to assets, vehicle titles, um, it's very important that you identify if you paid off a vehicle um, that you have access to that title. You want to know where's that, and then you also want to have a list of accounts, meaning your checking account your savings accounts, any kind of safe deposit box. All of these things kind of go on the financial side of what you need to have of your of your personal triangle. Now, when we get down to the, what I call the administration level, um, and once again, it doesn't matter what side you're on, they're all equally important. There are really about three to four documents that are really, really important. Number one, um, you need to have a power of attorney. Um, go ahead and set up a power of attorney now. Now, please understand, just because you have a power of attorney set up doesn't mean it, is, it goes um, that that person who your agent has the ability to start um, dictating what happens in your life. Power of attorneys generally have some type of clause where it goes in effect when you become incapacitated. And that even that is a process. But if you don't have it set up now, if you don't have it, um, if you haven't put it together, then it becomes really hard once you become incapacit incapacitated. Because at that point, generally a trustee is set up. And you know that trustee doesn't know who you are. And once again, what? Check the video. Um, you need to have a power of attorney. But you also need to have a marriage license. If you've gotten married, have your marriage license. Um, and if you have gotten divorced, make sure you have your divorce decree. Um, uh, if you can't find those things, I'm going to put a couple links in the bottom. Um, the vital statistics are really, uh, it's really easy to get those things now. Um, we had to go back and get a birth certificate for my father who was born in 1924 and they were able to do that. So, um, for this memory Monday, um, I, I really want to make sure that you have your triangle, you're working on your triangle, um, getting it in place. It will make your life easier it will make the lives of your loved ones easier if you're um, worried about your parents having that conversation go ahead show them the video share this video with people uh, that you know you like you trust and you care about because um, if they like know trust and care about you they'll get these things done doesn't matter how old you are doesn't matter how young you are um, this is uh, Chris Wilson uh, make sure you follow us um, Make sure you leave a comment, a like, a share. Let me know that um, hopefully this has been uh, you've gotten some value out of this. Join us on Wednesday for our Wealthy Wednesday webinar, uh, 8 p.m. Um, WealthyWednesdayWebinar.com. Um, also, if you um, really like this, when you go to WilliamCWilson.com, click on the link so you can register to get these sent to you automatically. 
uh, I had a, a wonderful comment. The young lady said, well, listen, I never know where you're going to put these things out. And so I tell you, just check the hashtag Memory Mondays, number one. But if you go to the website and you register, I will send them out along with the other resources um, on a, a, like an email list or something like that. So with that, this is Chris Wilson. I pray that this has been beneficial for you. Continue to have a phenomenal Monday. We'll talk to you soon.